Suddenly he said, the Führer has seen your films. And he has said, this is the man who will give us the national socialistic film. I don't know what I said to Goebbels, so help me God. And my only idea was how do I get out of here, get to the bank, get some money out of the bank and leave Germany. In 1927, Fritz Lang directed Metropolis, a science fiction pioneer. Emerging from Weimar, Germany, the film reflected on the industrialization's impact on society. Germany of the time was a hub of cinematic creativity, with Fritz Lang as one of its most prominent figures. Metropolis presents a futuristic city, starkly divided between a wealthy elite who lives in luxury above ground and the oppressed workers who toil tirelessly below the surface. Freider, the son of the city master, visits the undercity and falls in love with the beautiful working class, Maria. She later becomes a victim of the oppressive regime that duplicates her into a robot and a vicious conspiracy to tighten control over the underground working class. Fritz Lahn, who was influenced by a trip to New York City a few years before, designed Metropolis with the Art Deco style. The film imported this style back to Europe and contributed to its popularity. The film includes groundbreaking effects and cutting-edge visual styles. In retrospect, film historians were trying to see Metropolis and other post weimar films as a prophecy and warning of upcoming Nazi Germany. The 1947 book, From Caligari to Hitler, by Siegfried Krakauer, was trying to answer, what do movies reveal about the societies that create them? The book is still considered a seminal work in film theory. It's clear today that Metropolis itself was not an aware anti-fascist display. Dia von Harbo, Lang's wife, who wrote the Metropolis novel, later joined the Nazi party herself and made several state films commissioned by the Minister of Nazi Propaganda. Lan's career took a dramatic turn with the rise of the Nazi regime. Despite his Jewish background, he was offered to head the Nazi Propaganda Film Division. He rejected the role and fled to America. There he is! In Hollywood, Lend adapted his style to fit the American film industry. Though he never achieved the same iconic status he had in Germany, his Hollywood films, characterized by their strong themes of moral ambiguity, psychological complexity, and a distinctive visual style, contributed significantly to the film noir genre in its early days. Metropolis has since been recognized as a masterpiece, with its influence on the science fiction genre and cinematic technique, along with countless references cementing its timeless status in cinema history. <laughs>